In this video, we will be looking at accessing the cable connections for the load side of a too-high Rockwell automation across the line starter. For the purpose of this demonstration, I am not wearing the full personal protective equipment, uh, but be mindful when you're in the field, wear the proper PPE and um, adhere to the lockout and tagout procedures. For the purpose of this exercise, we will be focusing on the top section and um, in order to access the load terminals we would have to remove the medium voltage door and then swing out the low voltage panel. Once the medium voltage door is removed the next step is to um, unscrew the two self-tapping screws for the center channel and then remove the um, connection to the vacuum contactor control. With the previous steps completed, the low voltage panel can now be swing out. And uh, the only thing that stands in the way to the low terminals is a uh, plastic protective cover, which is going to be removed to have full access to the load terminals. This being a too high starter, we have a similar compartment, similar starter on the lower section. Also, uh, cables, load cabling coming from the top of the section. In order to access the lower section and bring the cables, uh, the load cables for the lower section, the removal of this bracket is required and also the removal of this barrier to allow the cables to be routed in behind the CPT mounting plate of the top section. It is preferred that the installation of the load cable for the bottom section be done first ahead of the top section every time the exit direction for the load cable is towards the top. 